Anyone who lives in the UK will know and love slash hate Game, of course, one of the very few pure gaming retailers left in the UK, or at least in the areas I've been to. And according to them, 5.1 million PlayStation 4 and Xbox One consoles have been sold in the UK. Now, this was actually reported as a figure in a presentation of their financials, and they cited GFK, IHS, and IDG. Now, these represent the install base for the current gen consoles up until January the 23rd, 2016. Now, interestingly, this is actually up 45% on the 3.5 million units the PS3 and Xbox 360 had sold at the same point in their life cycle. However, According to MCV, the number game is reporting may well not be upweighted and therefore the actual UK install base of the PS4 and Xbox One could be as high as 5.4 million. Now what do you mean by upweighting? You might not know what I mean there. Well basically GFK Entertainment covers about 95% of the UK games market so basically to get an accurate and whole picture of the sector you need to upweight the raw scale sales data by dividing by 0.95. Now you may have seen the report earlier this month that the PlayStation 4 had sold 3 million units in the UK, so taking into account these figures from game, the Xbox One has sold roughly 2.4 million units in the UK. And further to games reports, they basically said that the adoption rate for both current gen consoles is well ahead of the previous gen at the same point in its life cycle. So, if these numbers are to be believed, the PS4 is doing rather well for itself in the UK and the Xbox One isn't being too bad either. So, there you have it, a bit of an update on how the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One race is going. Thank you very much for watching, do remember to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I will see you next time.